Hey guys, my name is Nate Sandin, and in less than five minutes, I'd like to show you how you can quickly and easily find a viral post for your Facebook page using Instapost. Now, you may already have a tool that helps you manage content for your Facebook page, such as Postradamus, Hootsuite, or Post Planner. And that's okay because Instapost can be a great complement to those other tools. In fact, I built it specifically for when you just don't have the time required to use those other more time-consuming tools. Those other tools can be great, but let's face it, they take time to log in, find content, write text, choose a photo, schedule the post. Uh, Instapost, on the other hand, streamlines the entire process and keeps things really simple. Uh, that also makes it the perfect tool to use on the go. Imagine waiting in the parking lot while picking up your kids from school, or waiting for a flight at the airport, or sitting at the doctor's office. And if you have no laptop, that isn't a problem. Instapost works great on mobile phones and tablets as well. So let's take a look at how Instapost works. So the first thing I need to do is tell Instapost what kind of content I'm looking for. So I have a Facebook page about Golden Doodles, which are Golden Retriever and Poodle mixes. So I want to probably search for Golden Doodles for keywords. And then I can also choose what kind of post I want to generate. It can either be a news post or a photo post or a video. So if I were to uh, only choose a video, this is going to find videos from YouTube. Uh, it's going to search YouTube for as many results as it can find, and then it's only going to look through the top 10 most viral videos and uh, choose one of those for me. And it's just going to return one post right here. Uh, unlike other tools where they return, you know, hundreds of results that you can choose from. Uh, we're trying to keep things really simple. Uh, we don't want to bombard you with lots of options. We're just going to give you one post to look at. If you like it, go ahead and send it to your Facebook page. If you don't, we're just going to click generate post again and get a different video. So uh, let's go ahead and generate post and see what we get. So it did find a post for me at YouTube. You can tell we're now at the review process of Instapost, which is step two. And uh, the first thing it tells me is we found something for you from YouTube. And it shows me a photo of, it's actually a thumbnail of the video. And I can click that video and watch it. Okay, so a cute video of two golden doodles on YouTube. Um, I also have the text that went along with that video from YouTube. I can change that if I like or add my own text. So I could say check out mygoldendoodles.com for more golden doodles. If I were to have my own website that I wanted to plug, then I would just click save and now that text is saved and will be sent along with my post, my uh, video post to Facebook. Now, as I was saying earlier, if I don't like this post that Instapost found for me, I can always uh, click generate post again, and then it's going to find me a different YouTube video in this case. And uh, again, I can click the video and watch it and make sure it's going to work for my Facebook page. Um, I can also uh, just look for photos, so I could say generate post again for photos. And this time it found an Instagram photo, which looks like a really nice professional photo. Uh, it tells me who it's by, so I can give credit to the author. And, um, and again, I can plug my own website here if I like. So at this point, let's say we like this post, we've edited it the text the way we want it. And so now we we'll publish this post to our page. All I need to do is click the login with Facebook button. And once I've done that, 
Instapost is able to retrieve all of the pages that I run and it lets me choose which page I want to send my post to. So here they are and I can choose uh, my Golden Doodle Facebook page and I can then decide whether I want to send the post now or later and I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like when I send later so I'll click that and then I'll just click the calendar button here and let's choose tomorrow at uh, let's do 12 p.m. and we'll just say queue now so the post has been scheduled I can click view it and that's going to show me the post at Facebook you can see it's a nice big photo uh, it has the text that I wrote it says who it was by and this post will go up tomorrow at 12 o'clock so if I wanted to re repeat this process for a different Facebook page or even the same page if I just want to find more content I just go back to InstaPost, click Generate Post again, and see what other kind of content it finds for me. So in this case it found another photo at Instagram, and I just repeat the process. So thanks for watching, and I hope you decide to pick up a copy of InstaPost today.